Today we will learn about how we feel pain and how we can help manage our pain. Let's start off by talking about how pain works. Our body has an alarm system known as the nervous system. The nervous system is made up of your brain and spinal cord and the nerves that spread from your spinal cord to the rest of your body. The body's nervous system works like an alarm system to protect us, such as when we feel pain. Let's use an example. Let's say you are walking and then all of a sudden you trip, fall, and hurt your leg. Ouch! Your body rings your alarm system, which is a message that is sent from your leg to your brain. The message is a warning that is meant to protect you. This keeps you from putting pressure on your injured leg. When you feel pain, know that your leg is injured so that you can get help. Getting help may involve going to the hospital to see if you have a broken bone. In a perfect world, if your leg is cared for, the pain should decrease over time. This is known as an acute pain experience, pain that lasts for a short amount of time. For people experiencing pain for months or years known as chronic pain, the alarm system does not stop. In fact, the alarm system starts to ring more easily and more often. What this means is that not much is needed to begin to sense that something is painful. Let's think of it like a smoke alarm. A smoke alarm is useful when there is a house fire, but imagine a smoke alarm going off from the steam of a cup of coffee. The body's nervous system works like this too. When you experience pain for a long time, your body's alarm system starts to go off the same as if there were a house fire or steam from a cup of coffee. Your nervous system becomes extra sensitive. When the nervous system becomes extra sensitive, daily activities could create an increase in pain. Even when you have chronic pain, it is important to continue to stay active. When your nervous system is extra sensitive, learning how to manage the body's extra sensitive nervous system is very important. You can retrain your nervous system so that you can manage your symptoms better, improve your pain, and continue to stay active. There are many influences on pain. Influences can include mental and emotional health, relationships and support, nutrition, alcohol, and or substance use, movement and physical activity, medicines and surgeries, and other health conditions. Let's talk about ways to manage pain. It is important to track your pain. When you track your pain, you can find patterns in your life that may increase or decrease your pain. Finding what may increase or decrease your pain will allow you to learn about how to manage your pain better. Keep track of your pain in a journal. You may be wondering what you should track. Here are a few sample questions to ask yourself. Are you experiencing new pain or reoccurring pain? Is it off and on or constant? What factors do you think contribute to your pain or stress? What have you used to help reduce your pain? Some techniques include ice, heat, or medication. Are you taking your medications as prescribed? What changes have you noticed in your daily sleep quality? Do you have trouble falling and or staying asleep? Other questions to ask yourself may include, is your pain limiting any of your daily activities such as work or school? What foods might be triggering your pain or discomfort? Some foods may include sugar, salt, meat, or alcohol. What should you ask your healthcare team, such as your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist? Information to ask about may include medication questions, such as names, dosages, side effects, refills, or when to use your medications. Questions about your disease or condition, such as the expected length of pain, or questions about your home pain plan, such as accommodations for work and your school. In addition to pain journaling, we can calm the alarm system down by using different methods to manage pain. Medications are possible treatment options, but using integrated techniques can be very effective as well. Some integrated techniques to manage pain include massage therapy, mindful meditation, aromatherapy, tai chi, yoga, deep breathing, music therapy, healthy eating, getting a good amount of sleep, art therapy, and more. There are certain techniques such as art therapy that also serve as distraction tools. Distraction tools can help a person focus on an activity to help take their mind off pain and or stress. Let's use an analogy to better explain this idea. Imagine you are sitting in a movie theater watching a movie. 
The room is dark. There is information being sent to your eyes and ears, and you become completely focused on what is happening in the movie. Now, imagine there is a person a few rows ahead of you who pulls out their cell phone. Even though the movie screen is huge and the phone screen is small, the cell phone will still pull your attention away from the movie screen. Although all of the things you are seeing and hearing will keep going on in the movie, the cell phone in front of you will keep pulling your attention away from the movie. The cell phone is distracting. This is what happens when we use distraction tools for pain management. The movie screen is your pain while the cell phone represents your distraction tool, such as art therapy, aromatherapy, or music. As mentioned earlier in the video, an integrative technique to manage pain includes deep breathing. Deep breathing has been shown to activate the relaxation response. The relaxation response is a state of rest. This state of rest is illustrated by slower breathing and lower blood pressure and heart rate. Let's learn how to do the 478 deep breathing technique. There are four steps to do the 478 deep breathing technique. Step one, rest the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth behind your top front teeth and keep it there. Step two, completely breathe out through your mouth. With your lips closed, breathe in through your nose to the count of four. Your belly should come outward as you breathe in. Step three, hold your breath for seven seconds. Then forcefully breathe out from your mouth while puckering your lips for eight seconds. Step four, close your lips and breathe in again. Repeat as much as needed. Do you want to practice 478 deep breathing? Scan the QR code or visit the link to watch the video titled 478 Calm Breathing Exercise from Hands-On Meditation. To find pain management resources, visit our website. There are several resources available for free access, including educational materials such as brochures, educational pain videos, and 20 plus webinars for patients and caregivers. If you have any questions, please call or email our team. As mentioned, you can visit our website or also connect with us on Facebook and LinkedIn to stay up to date on the latest pain-related information. Thank you for your time.